Well, we've come to terms with the fact that the shiplap is basically the only thing holding this house together. If they would have used as many brains as they did nails in this house, we'd be in fine shape. We've been wanting to get the roof done and we've had the materials for over a month now, but it seems like it's always raining when Ted is off work. So in the meantime, we worked on finishing all the kitchen and closet framing, got the windows ordered, and installed the one and only they had in stock. Of course, projects don't stop at home when we're working on the rental house, and we were finally able to finish a couple projects we've been needing to do at home. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, so we are back. Um, Ted and I had a nice date night last night. We actually took the sandbar all the way back to this house to come get the last load of wood that we couldn't fit. Now we're just finishing supplementing in the framing that has been missing from this house for 120 some years. So we're getting that done. The next electrical company should be getting here at any minute to give us another estimate. But that's that's what we're doing today. And then pretty soon Teddy goes back to work. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a while before we get to come back. But we'll see if I can last wearing masks with this thing on. <laughs> He's a little worried about the beard and, and the mask wearing. Added at work. filtration though, up the nose. <laughs> Yuck. That's really gross. But yeah, so we've officially dubbed this place the fun house because we're having fun. We're having fun, but also nothing is level. Nothing, nothing is square. And it feels like you're in a fun house. These walls are three foot on center. Three <laughs> three foot. And not even, it's like 32, 34. 36, you know, it's, just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Generator off. Ted right now is just getting ready to take this storm window off. We got all of the windows ordered. They are due to be here September 12th. They were supposed to be here August 22nd, but... They keep moving the dates on us. They keep of moving. <laughs> so we did, they did have this one in stock. So we just wanted to kind of see how it was going to go in, see how easy it is. See kind how of what, hard it is. How hard it is. See what we're working with. So oh my gosh. Doug's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> it's 
Seriously, let's try it. <laughs> oh, good. Look at me. You know what they say about a man with a mustache? Hearts <laughs> on secrets. <laughs> you always know what he had for lunch. Can you hold this? Did you make like fun of me? <laughs> Here comes Doug to yell at us. What are you doing? What's my window? Half our time is spent looking for tools. Okay, first window installed. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. It's not ideal on the outside because there's existing siding where the siding should go into the J trim on the outside of this. But we're gonna just try to do like a PVC trim around that. Just it. It's probably not the correct way to do it, but it's. What, how else would we do it other than piecing get, in the siding? Get, we should get siding and put the siding into the window. Not gonna do it. You heard it here first. All right, it's just me today, but I have a project that I've been wanting to get done since we did our kitchen. So it's been about two years and we redid this whole entryway and kitchen area. When we installed the tile, there's not very much clearance between the bottom of the door and the tile floor. So whenever we go to open the door, it catches on the rug, which has just driven me crazy for like two years. So. There's some other things wrong with the door. The outside is also in <laughs> rough shape. The top, you can see, is very dark. And then as you go down to the bottom, it's really sun bleached. Some of the varnish has started peeling up. And you can see like our old dog that's not with us anymore loved to scratch at the door when he wanted to come in. So basically what I'm gonna do is right now, while Ted is working is start getting it sanded. first um, sanding done. I went pretty light on it, but I did sand this all the way down to the bare wood just because there was like some deep scratches in there from our dog. So I got rid of the 80 grit. I just put 120 grit on. I'm gonna do the same thing all over again and then hit it again with the 220. Ha <laughs> ha! 
This door, it got super beat up. Like you can see the original stain was like super dark and it's like super light now. Uh, but Jenna wants to paint everything on our house that's brown, pretty much she wants to paint black. So when I originally stalled this door, I only went up as high as I could without notching out this trim. And just so happens it's about a half an inch too low. So being that we're gonna do this project, we wanna paint it. I figure we might as well just take it down. We can paint it as it's down. And while that's being done, I can raise, raise it up a half an inch. And then we have a rug under there. So I want to make sure I get all of these little corners right here really good and make sure there's nothing peeling up because this is the part of the door that got hit by the sun the most. We had to move Jenna inside to paint because the sun is surprisingly really hot today. It was so. like 50, it was like not even 50 degrees this morning. So the paint was just drying faster than you could put it on. So. Sweaty, How come my... you don't use tape? Because even when you use tape, like you can't ever tape it perfect. So you're always gonna have to end up going back and touching it up with a paintbrush. And this is just easier, in my opinion. Plus, like I said, it's really satisfying. Usually just let our chickens like free range around the property, but we've been having a fox come and pick off. I think we've lost four or five chickens now. So <laughs> the kids cleaned the chicken coop today and the chickens got out. And uh, so have to get them, get them back in. Oh, you just missed her. <laughs> Where are you going, guy? I promise. <laughs> <laughs> 